when they zig, we zag. That's how the CEO of Alchemies describes his company, which is focused, among other things, on fighting the opioid epidemic. Richard Pops, thanks for being here at the BioBus Center. Good to see you, Mike. So clearly Bio is prioritizing the issue of opioid addiction this year. There are many panels and discussions about it, even a keynote address by the actor and filmmaker Rob Reiner. But you and your company have been focused on this issue for literally years. That's right. And boy, that Rob Reiner this morning was a, just a poignant example of how real this epidemic is. And it underscores the fact that it's touching everybody in America. Not just only his family, but even the way they're making art and making film now. So we have been focused on this for a long time. We identified this as a, as, as a pending epidemic, unfortunately long before others did. Primarily because of our work with Vivitrol, but also in our work just in serious mental illness in general. You could hear the drum beat in the distance of this of the growing crisis in the country. And Vivitrol, which you just mentioned, for those who might not be familiar with it, is your FDA-approved medication for the treatment of opioid addiction. Exactly right. In fact, when you and I first met, it was first approved for the treatment of alcohol dependence. And we thought that would be its primary commercial embodiment. But as the drug came to market, we began to see more and more the rising scourge of prescription opioid epidemic and then heroin, fentanyl, and the others. And so we subsequently got FDA approval for Vivitrol in 2010 for the opioid crisis, and that's where most of the growth is happening now. Richard, as you well know, there are a lot of people out there offering a lot of different solutions to this big and growing, sadly, problem. What do you think needs to be done? I know you're an advocate for patient-centric addiction treatment, but what does that mean? What does that look like? Mike, it's difficult to overstate how broken or non-existent the treatment system is for opioids. Opioid treatment is actually outside of mainstream medicine. Typically, patients go to either a methadone clinic or a doctor who might provide one type of medicine. Fewer than 50% of the treatment centers in America for opioids use medicines, even though medicine is evidence-based. And of the ones that use medicine, only 4% use all three FDA-approved medicines. So the, what we need to do is we actually need to medicalize this and treat it based on evidence-based practices that lead to better outcomes for patients. It's that hard and that easy, actually. Change thinking. Change thinking and change the actual implementation of treatment and care providing in the communities. But Richard, is it really possible, given the enormity of the problem, of course. how many people are dying, to begin to make inroads and let's start to reverse this horrible trend? The motive force for that change is the outrage that's growing in the community. 60,000 people died last year. That number or more will die this year. So we're not making a big impact. We're putting more money into the system, but putting more money into a broken system isn't gonna fix it. But as people get outraged, as the status quo doesn't change, we can see beautiful indications in communities of, of impetus to change. And as it changes, and those changes work, they propagate through the country. So fundamentally, I'm optimistic, but it's not happening fast enough. Great, working to change minds, um, change treatments, and hopefully to even save people's lives. Richard Pops, the CEO of Alchemies, thanks for joining us here at the BioBus Center.